If you've heard of Rwanda, it could be because of the genocide that took place here that claimed between 500,000 and a million lives. And even though that was about 20 years ago, the echoes of those atrocities are still heard today here in places like this outside of Kigali, Rwanda. And it's still part of MSU Jim Kelly's work even now. Rwanda has gone through the terrible genocide in, uh, in the 1990s and uh, is uh, making great strides to recover from that. When a genocide occurred, uh, lots of people uh, fled the country, uh, deserted the land, and in fact a lot of the, the native varieties of beans and so forth were actually lost. And there was a time when those had to be actually uh, replaced, brought in from other sources uh, to uh, resupply the actual varieties that the farmers need in this in this country. Some of these look look really productive. Rwanda eats more beans per capita than any place else in the world. The problem is that the beans grown here aren't very durable. They're not drought or disease resistant. Kelly's trying to change that. Beans are recognized as one of the most nutrient rich foods and therefore a, in a population like Rwanda that relies very heavily on a vegetarian based diet with a limited amount of animal proteins and so forth, it's very essential for the population to have access to adequate quantities of a nutrient rich food such as beans. This is Jim Kelly's life. For more than 30 years, he's been breeding and introducing new varieties of beans. It's not just for Rwanda, not just for Michigan, it's for the world. It's nice to develop something uh, new, unique, that's valuable to farmers. And it's particularly gratifying to be able to take it to poor farmers and see them utilizing it and recognizing the value of that, uh, that particular variety and so forth. Uh, varieties that will bring more productivity, more income to them, varieties that may have better nutrition, that they can therefore uh, be more assured that they're serving more nutritious food to their, to their children and families. <laughs>